What's up everybody, welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host Sean Grande and today we are making a Cuban style chicken. Normally this would be made on a barbecue, but today I'm gonna make it in the oven because it's still cold in Toronto. You know what it is, it's What's in the Pot. I'm your host Sean Grande. Hey guys, so this is what we have for our ingredients. I have one whole chicken cut in half, it's about a five pound chicken. I have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. I have one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of oregano. And one cup, about half a cup of orange juice, and one packet of Goya Saison seasoning. And that's the coriander and annatto seasoning. So with all these ingredients, we're gonna put them in the bowl, put them all together, mix the dry ingredients first. Once we mix our dry ingredients, the next thing we're gonna do is just whisk it up so all the ingredients get blended in together. Then we're gonna add our wet liquid, which is the orange juice. Um, I try to use a sour orange juice. Um, ideally, you'd wanna use some pineapple juice as well. I didn't have any pineapple juice, so I went ahead and just used orange juice. But go ahead, add orange juice, add pineapple. And then we're gonna add the Goya seasoning. Once we've added that in, we're gonna go ahead and baste this chicken. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure the seasoning, the sauce, the flavor, everything of the seasoning gets kinda of soaked into the chicken. Kinda of just rub it right in there. Use your hands. If you don't wanna use your hands, you can use your gloves because the annatto seasoning does uh, leave a little bit of a red mark in your hands. And if you're from Trinidad, it's kinda of like, you know, if you ate some salt prunes or red mango. But yeah, so go ahead, rub that seasoning into the whole chicken itself once you've done that leave it in the fridge for about three to four hours overnight if you don't have time at least put it in the fridge for at least 20 to 30 minutes so once you take the chicken out of the fridge you can see all the seasoning all the marinade has been absorbed into the chicken i'm just putting it on a baking dish ideally you can put this on a barbecue and it would give it perfect grill you just grill for about 45 minutes on low um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the chicken on the baking dish I have my oven set to about 425 degrees and we're gonna bake this between 45 and 50 minutes depending on how you like your chicken I don't want the chicken dried out but I do want it to get nice and crispy and I do want it to get completely clean um, sorry completely cooked and uh, no blood no redness uh, one thing that I normally do is and I've learned this from Chris from Caribbean pot is take a brush and you kind of brush off any extra juice that's on the chicken so yes you're brushing the marinade a little bit off but what that does is when you brush it it adds that crispiness now you can see the chicken it's been about 55 minutes and the chicken is nice and crispy and I'll just go ahead and uh, make a quick cut into it um, hopefully you can see a big uh, piece there that I'm gonna cut out but perfectly done no blood nothing it's cooked completely inside you can see it's still juicy it's still tender and 45 minutes 45 55 minutes depending on how you like your chicken and yeah that's it man it's our cuban style chicken this chicken was inspired by me going to miami and trying some chicken for pollo tropical there you can see the chicken not a good view but thank you for tuning in Thank you very much for tuning in to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande. Till next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell that you see at the bottom because that will send you a reminder on your mobile device, on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android phones. It will send you a reminder that we have a new video posted. I'm still trying to post one video a week, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Send this to your friends, send this to your family. Till next time, peace.